Everyone, this is Bill and Spank, continuing session 23 of our D&D game venture for more. I'm your DM, JVD. Hey guys, I'm Evan the Great, playing the Elven Bar through the Silver String. And holy shit. I'm the Bearded Wonder with the Villains <laughs> in the Van, and I'm playing Vesper North, the Moon Elf Road. And this may be our last episode, guys. It was fun. I'm Smiley, playing all the Dwight Hammer, and I've got some pain. I'm West playing Roll and Ivor. Let's have some fun. All right, Wes, go ahead and give me the recap. It was probably small. Well, uh, a giant came in to talk to us. Basically, we uh, sat around and come up with a plan of attack. Found out he was uh, trying to get rid of the cult as well. And it took us a while to come up with a consensus on what we're going to do, but... We finally decided to uh, attack Resmir immediately, and that's where we're at. All right, so um, you're coming up these stairs with these ogres, and the uh, like I said they lead you up to the door. Um, every time there's a cultist around as you're marching up, like one of the, one of the ogres just does its best to go in there and just bash its brains in. Um, if any of you guys got spells you're casting, you might want to start doing that now. Prep yourself. How long is it going to take to get to the door? Where you're at, maybe, yeah. maybe a minute. So, so, I mean, you got a while. Well, I believe it takes ten minutes, so I'm not going to do it. So, you're casting. Yeah. And then, as we get close, so we like temporary hit points, right? Yeah. And then your armor class would be too higher once I hit you with pace, which would be as soon as we get to the It'd be too high. Door. I will Thank cast you. my copper game languages on myself. All right. So I think you'll put that to a slot. Uh, anybody else? Um, mm. I mean, it, like I said, whatever you need to do, you've got a couple rounds beforehand. Yeah, I can't do I can't do what I was going to do. It takes 10 minutes, so okay. Uh, oh, action. Um, also line yeah. yourselves up there. Like I said, the room with the chairs and whatnot, down. that's the room you're going to get. Yeah, so kind of you to line up there. You have advantage of dex head. Rupert's currently on bag. And you can do an additional action each year. Because I was... Well, so you're up front with me? So you're a really badass. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to be like within 10 feet of me at least. I will be behind you. Right now. Because the rings are behind you. Okay. Everybody else? What is it? Where are you going? I'm behind Vesper. Where Vesper's gonna be? How long does the Miz build yeah. last? Uh, an hour or two. Until you take your action. Sure. So the snare will be in the far back. So where's the door to her place at? Is it here? Yeah, yeah, it's in double doors right there. When we get to where I know where her door's at, that's, that's when I will that's cast haste on feet. Vesper. Uh, he has right. feet. Because I don't want to do it down and it's not know where it's at. All right, so uh, you're, you've, you've walked down low, you've walked through this ice cave, this tunnel that takes you down below. Um, you're almost there. Everybody will me perception. Sight? Yes. 22. 24. Six. Perception? No, at least everybody else has noticed that. Yeah, but I was 19. Hey, there's a, that there's a sucks, that says gone to lunch. 17. Okay, everybody out got it besides Ori. Um, like I said, like a, anytime a, cult, a, like a cultist comes around the corner, you know, these ogres are just bam, bashing in the head, taking them out with one blow. <clears throat> but you come around the corner and you're at the uh, bottom. Like I said, uh, this is someone roll me a dice. Oh, it's day four. He's, no, I need a D6. Somebody roll me a D6. Oh, it's daytime. Five. Okay, let's stop. One person roll the dice. Let's make it there, right there. Six. Okay, so it is nine. The nine time. Okay, so before we get down there, though, I did cast some visibility. Um, it's really foggy. Like, because the castle is so cold. Like, I mean, it is very hard to see within 10 feet in front of you. And, uh, everybody roll me an insight. That's completely changed right because I forgot. 22. 17. 20. 22. 17. 7. 
Um, you don't get it. You need a ten. But you three realize as you're making your way down below, these four ogres are very tense. Almost like they're scared. And they are being very tentative, like they're just looking around. Because the fog is very thick and you can only see like maybe 10 feet in front of you. And if you can't see in the dark, there's no light. But you're all alright, so. Yeah. But I mean, they're very tense. Like where they were walking around with a one, their club in one hand, now they're just like doubled up on it. Like they're. Oh, like, I thought you were going to be like, they're about to yeah. attack you. Can, can I be like, like uh. <laughs> can I be like, um. I'm going to try and instill some courage, like. Try to talk them up and just kill some courage. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll do the same. Basically, like, how would you, how would I do this? She starts seeing the homie close to the hands. She seems out of hand. Hold your course. We have purpose. And I'll say it in broken giant. Hmm? Hold your course. We have purpose. Um, I'll say it in broken yeah, giant so yeah. that I don't understand. He, uh, one of them tells you, he's like, don't get it. I tell you that the, the night lady's out. It's dark. And they're just like really tense and they're looking around. You know? Oh, and, fuck. Uh, they don't know, they don't understand that it's an elf, but they just kind of look at you. The undead, the. And the, 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 you the, ask me what do you do that? And you're like, they're, they're looking at you. They're like, yeah. But they, they, they are terrified. Uh, Actually, so I went around and I'll see if it's day or not. See if it was. Do they count as allies at this point? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're friendly to us. I wouldn't say they're friendly to you. I mean, they're, they're, not, like, they're not going to help you up if you get attacked. Because here's the, here's the thing. You're saying that they're frightened. Mm -hmm. If I'll be, I'll be within ten feet of them. If mm -hmm. they count as allies, they can't be frightened. So, okay, it's a not that type of thing. thing. It's a yeah. mindset. It's not. Yeah, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's scares, but the actual yeah. frightened yeah. snacks. Yeah, no, no, but no, you can tell they're very fearful. fearful That's my right of courage. So, well. Actually, the one thing about this, what is this? Kill a little black dragon. This is gonna go squat. Very good. Um, they tell you they are more afraid of the night lady than the dragon lady. Levels off. That's why we're not going after the night lady right now. Um, <laughs> they get close and uh, like uh, they one of them points to a set of double doors. They point right there. Like, that's it. Oh, they're not going any closer. No, that's Rosemary's door. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're telling me that's it. Okay, well, I'm invisible, so you guys can't see me. <laughs> I pass the order. Me thanks. All right, so we've already pre-established initiative here. Yep. And it would be... <laughs> Warden, you go first. Kitchen that works door. out. Kitchen the door. Rupert, that's the little pump door. Is can I? Is there like a keyhole or a crack you see there? Don't do that. Mm -hmm. You guys horror movies where you look in the keyhole and then you get poked in the eye. You only got one. Then you have no eyes. Yeah. Then you got one bad eye. But no, I mean, there, this is a keyhole. No. He's got two eyes. <laughs> it, it, it looks like the doors push, open or out. Two doors open. Doors push. Open or out. Just bust. I put my hand on it. Does it, need, does it give or does it just fall? It does give. Oh. I just open the door. You open the door. As you do, 15 fireballs. <laughs> Rocks on. We all done. She's the only one in here. Yeah. She's at this table. <laughs> just like it is nighttime, so it's should like, oh, never mind. She's at the table. Uh, I roll the door and I say, I believe you didn't answer my question. Um, when you do this, these giant lizards beside her, you remember these from Grants running around the church of Chantia. Oh, they hiss and, well, she, and she speaks. Who speaks very iconic? Comprehend languages. She says, Kill them. I just shoot one. <laughs> Alright. I will give you the action to shoot one if you would like. Go first. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Which one are you shooting? Uh, the one on the right. My right or your right? Okay, that one. My right or right? Okay. Kill it. Thank you. That's better.
30. Ooh, wow. And it shrieks out in pain. And I say, was it the mother or the father I must know? Oh, all right. <laughs> mother or the father? Uh, <laughs> roll it. Yeah. Not yet. Oh, okay. I'm gonna move in here, right here, and I'm gonna use my mist or my bonus actions and misty step. Okay. Come another thirty feet. Okay, you're you're misty stepping there. Um, no, I moved up. No, I'm missing misty stepping up here is my bonus action next to this. Uh, do that. Whatever it's called. Do, do that off fire. Okay, so you. You run by Ori. Move yourself on that carpet in front of Ori. Fuck. Oh. He goes to run by you, and as soon as he does, he steps on this carpet and it engulfs him. No save? No save, no. It, it's it's, it's over the smother him. I still get to it, well. No, you don't. Yeah, it, it's at when it attacks. Can you miss a step out of it? <laughs> well, awesome. here's the thing. He has to see where he misses step. Oh. Yes. Right. But you can't miss a step out of yes. gravel, so we can see where it goes. Yeah. Um, until the gravel ends, you restrain, blind it, and risk suffocating. Oh, fuck, you can't see it. Uh, I don't got yes. it. Says a provoking attack of opportunity. <laughs> because it looks like a normal rug. If you would have ran up there and got you. can't do anything. Like nope, that's what it does. So you can take an action to break the grapple. That is it. All right, and that would be strength check? Strength you? Athletics. That'd be a strength check. You can kill the rug. Strength or strength athletics? Uh. Just straight. Uh, I don't know this. He still makes you great. You great. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna twin one. Uh, he, or he runs by you to go attack. Draws the great sword and this rug grabs him and he's rolling around on the ground. You can't see. Him. All you see is the tip of his sword hanging out. His feet hanging out the bottom. Saw, saw. I'm gonna be saw it, saw it, saw it. <laughs> uh. I, uh, since I can't use my bonus action to Misty Step, can I just go ahead and shield my face? Well, here's the thing. You're going to have to roll me some DCs because you're, you're starting to smother. So I figure well, it's immediately what happened. So it happen, so it's well, you your charisma to your arms and Yeah. Give me a card. There we go. 17. Okay, you're good. All right. Chill face, bring me up to 28. Her turn. Or come in there first. She blasted you. That's me. I'm, I'm so at the board. I'm rolling. Oh, <laughs> he's on the ground. No, he's he's rolling on the ground. You have quarter cover. Wait, want to cut this thing off of me? <laughs> I don't have a blade. Um, that would be a <laughs> sure mine's right there. <laughs> What's that? We have 22 on you? Um, no, I can't use it. Here's your hand for us to for 13 points of damage as she draws that Evan greatsword. And once she does, she shoots out this green bolt from her hand, and you get hit with acid and it starts to burn you. Um, um, I I want it. Um, no, no, no. Move the two four. guard drakes up four. on a rolling uh, orb. I'll take this. I will. Yeah. What do these drakes look like? You've seen them. They're ambush drakes. Yeah, they're ambush drakes. I think that's what you call them. Yeah, they're full of these are drakes. They're a little bit beefier version of them. Are they beefs? Let's see. One of them hits you with a tail. The first one hits you with a tail. For seven. The other one, bite tail. And I missed you with the other one. And that's So, which so all this just happened real fast. Which one did you get? This one? It's that one, yeah. <clears throat> I don't I did it. I don't get it. <laughs> Can I have a reaction to that one there? Yeah. Sure. Uh, right. Square here or Actually, the one in front uh, of it? Uh, uh, I'm invisible, so if I step up behind him. Yeah. You are sneak attacking. You can jump. Turn it by me. What's the distance on the hand cross though? That for sure. Then, okay. I think it's like 60 feet. Okay. You get on the first increment. And that's your action too. Know. So Alright, so I am oh, shooting shit. her. Alright. Great. Ironically, I lost my uh so, paper. 
is going to be 9, 10, 11, Ooh. 12, 13 is a miss. Target number. No, it is a target number. Oh, fuck. Right. Someone's on her dexterous. That's easy. It's hard to leave the ground around on eight legs. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you shoot the lizard? No, I shot her. Oh, her. Okay. Damage on the first shot. All right. And then second shot, 12, uh, uh, 21. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine points of damage on that one. And then I got ace, so. Mm -hmm. Nine. Another action. So I'm going to fire again on her. All right. This one's hard. What's one turn? Might as well. Oh, I got it. Well, you can pull a sword for that. Right now, I'm using plus one crossbow bolts and almost half of them. Yeah. Yeah, for real. That's a good one after me. Uh, 18. That'll hit her. Uh, six points of damage. And then second shot. 16, 17, 18. That'll hit her. Uh, five, six, seven, eight points of damage. And then I went to hide. Okay, so 45 total to her. That hurts. So you're gonna attempt to hide? Yeah, like all right. Uh, uh 13, plus 13 is plus 26. Oh, and my AC is a 19, but I got 26 to uh, stuff. And advantage on that two rocks. Luda. <laughs> So you just put a iron around the door there? Yeah, something like the 26. I don't know where it is. Well, there's not any place for really yeah, high, so. so. Luda? Um, what about a Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, or a yeah. yeah. I'll move her uh, over here to the. Well, actually, you hit this one, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So she's going to come in and she is going to. Chop, chop. To chop, you chop, yeah. Uh, plus one battle axe that Luda gave her. That's not a No, you gave her. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, that will hit. That will hit. And she's going to put it down with two hands on this. Because she's not having any weapons. No, oh, she's using the shield. So she's one handed. There. <laughs> Six, nice. seven, eight. Eight points of damage on it. Okay, you have one action surge? Yeah. Um, yeah, then she'll go ahead and action, uh, action surge to hit it again. Yeah. 14, 56, 15, 10, 15, 20. I'll hit. That's a beating. Uh, four points of damage. Alright. Luda. Hmm. I don't want to move. Uh, no, I'm gonna move to the catty corner of Ori. And I'm going to heal him. Uh, you, 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 take? you can't, I'm not just out the max. You can't go any. Oh, yeah, you went. Oh, yeah, you can't. Hey. Yeah. No. Okay. You can do other things. You can lightning bolt. That's what I'm gonna try. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Is it straight to her, or is it would be more like this? Yeah, um, yeah it'll be like that. All right, I'm gonna move there. And I'm gonna cast lightning bolt on Rasmir in this blizzard. The DC is a 16 dexterity saving throw. Okay. On which one? Uh, the lizard and her. Okay. Which one? Lizard and her. Okay. What are you casting? Lightning bolt. Uh, it's got to be a straight line in there, a doorway in front of you. Oh, uh, it's the double doorway shooting through in front of the lizard. Wait, well, yeah, but they've got to be in a straight line line up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can't shoot them at an eye uh, angle. Oh, well, I thought I was trying to line up. Okay. Well, yeah. uh, definitely want to shoot Razmir if I can't get the lizard. Shoot Razmir. <clears throat> yeah, All right. It's right in the way of the door, so to get to you, you can shoot Razmir. Razmir. Well... 16 dexterity save, I know that for sure. 8d6. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good thing I got you, Rick. Save for damage. Yeah. Save or something. 
No, that's that's. Yeah, I don't know. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it's not that, huh? Eighty-six. Yeah. Eighty-six. Yeah. Oh, pretty, pretty damn good. 14, 15, 20, 25. 29, 35 points of electrical damage. 35 points of electrical damage, Stuber. And then I'm going to. Does anybody go after me? What did, was that an attack? I didn't hear you. It, it's a safe. It's a safe. Yeah, oh, you didn't write my safe. Yeah, dexterity yeah. 16. That's right. Yeah, I wrote it too. <laughs> <laughs> How much was that? 35. Ooh, boy, man, you guys have put a beating on her. Uh, you hit her with this? Yeah. Make sure I'm at this right. 35? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm good. Oh, I could say she falls? Is yes. anybody going to be No, I was, I was counting wrong. Does anybody go after me? I think you were counting. Uh, yeah. I mean, one of our, one of our. I can't tell you that. Oh, I, <laughs> I can't tell you that. Right so now. You a Bardic Inspire. I want to Bardic, Bardic Inspire Roland, and he does go before you. Okay, so, that's I'll I'll go go before, before you. it's next, and then me. So the so, like, bad thing is, I'm going to have to sing or play an instrument, and it's going to draw attention. Did you not see what I did? Did you not hear the thunder oh, yeah. go off? I've already rolled around. Sure, I think it's going to break down. I get my flute out. I mean, come on, he's his own. He's his own. Boom! I get my violin out, and I am okay. playing it courageously as I inspire. You should be playing the thunder. I love it. That's what we're doing courageously. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Thunder. <laughs> 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 thunder. <laughs> Or I was thinking of Broken Giant. <laughs> uh, the Rogue goes first, which it has Ord. Uh, Roland right. captured uh, your constitution, your substitution. What's your constitution modifier, Roland? Two. Two, okay. You just used one round. After two more rounds, you're going to start choking and have to make constitution saves. So for two rounds, you can still breathe. So this will count. And it is your turn. You take. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go first. I'm just waiting for one here, I can do this damage. Alright, I will boss action, spread the weapon right behind her. Okay. And so ready, you throw an ability check, ready, you can use ready, your ability. Radiant monster appears with a blank stroke fluttering around it, just like jabs down. D8, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. That is 19 plus. Yeah, that's eight. D10. It's level D10. 3. I have 10th level ground. Okay. I did not know this. And right, see, please. <laughs> 11, 15, praying damage. Uh, you hit her, the sword shows up behind her. She doesn't see it, and it runs her through the chest. And when she does, she, you see the anger and shock on her face. And her body begins to disintegrate, and she turns to ash. Wow. We're like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Stuff which is like jewelry, or sword, or uh, yeah. gold and purple robes, yeah. fall to the floor. Oh, All right. sweet. I will use my action. I jump over lizards, grab the sword. If I use burning hands, would it kiss Roman? Uh, if he's in their area, I yeah. mean, I would try and run the road. Yeah, yeah, the road. yeah, I mean, yeah. I can take some damage. All right, I will yeah. burn your hands in front of me to burn the road. All right. It's 3d6. Uh, could uh, you I can save that, right? Hit that save. Hey, could you angle it at, at the rogue and lizard? Uh, yes, I can. That's what happens if it's a cone. I'll oh, aim it at the wounded lizard as well. Yeah, okay, sure. I fill that with a 6. The yeah. lizard, which one? The one you shot? At the wounded one. Yeah. And it has a 14. Uh, 16 to save. Okay, so if I'll take full damage, uh, 12. 12. All right, you take 6 damage rolling. Can you make a save? This you know, magic damage is correct. Oh, uh, this is magic damage, correct? Uh, uh, yeah, it is for me. Resist, it is resist, gives me resistance to that. It reminds me of, uh, what is it? Scary Movie 3. So that's 6 to 3, three right? Giant. Well, yeah, if you have uh, Is there a one where they give me resistance well, to the. First, yes. Or gives. I don't want to mention that. Sorry, you mentioned it earlier. Okay, I used before the we even got into the fight. I heard that. Roland, it is your turn. Yeah. You take nine points of damage as the thing constricts you. You must try to escape. Let's get a bonus because it's on fire. Actually, this thing can 
Yeah, it's got some HP to it, though. Yeah. It's giving negatives to him because now he's smoking in there. <laughs> now, I need to make a strength. Yeah, I got 17. And I got 17. You're breaking even. All right. Can you, you got any strange bonus actions? You, you can, can use do. Bardic Inspiration on a ability roll. And you said it's a D10? It's a D10. So D10 you know, you know, yeah, so you, know you break free and you are prone around this rope that's flopping around. Just like a chat wearing on the ground. <clears throat> well, I get disadvantage to attack. And you have two withers on it. Yeah, but, you know, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, actually, you do have two lizards. I provoke <laughs> by standing up, right? And it takes half my movement? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do that. Alright. Go ahead and make your rolls. Okay. Uh, Lizards will be first. And then the roll will catch you again. Uh, <laughs> direct crash. No, one of them is gonna hit you. I wrote a one on one by. It's like the Dr. Strange thing. Uh, that okay, would be a 22. One of their bites. Or. Six points of damage. Yeah, let's repeat. Okay. Six points of damage. Which one? 90, and then I, I gotta look that up real quick because it's the first time I've ever watched it. It should be right here. It does a D10 per spell. Do that? Or 2D10 per spell? I think it's a deck save. It is a deck save, yes. What do you think that about tripping Deck save? Yeah. Paladin, Charisma, deck 3, save 4, half, 7, 15. That'd be AC. I got six, yeah, but, uh, 16 inch. I just see this thing like grabbing them and then do a trip attack. Half he falls, success. gets in the rug again. Jimmy Pan tells me to go up and bring you over and now Chet says it's a mimic. It hops in the mimic. It's the mimic tongue. I have a whole room made of stuff like that. 19, 11. Okay. I'm not sure too, but that was fine. He takes some damage. I was trying to keep that one around as a pet, damn it. Alright, so you're up. So and for my action, I'm go ahead and start swinging on that one. The one that bit you? The wounded well. They're both wounded now. The one that bit you was. The one that looks like it's. Okay, the one everybody's been rolling on, yeah. alright. Uh, first swing is a 20. Alright. Oh, say, I'm gonna put. I can bring it and thunder. If you cast some thunder and smite, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's a 2d6. It's a per, is it per level? One d eight. Are you talking about smiting? It's two, it's two d eight, isn't it? For yeah. The gradient, and then two d six for the thunder damage. So mm -hmm. it's the yellow is or the thunder, the green is the sword, and I'm using a level one for the radiant, level two for the. It's 3D8 for using level 2. Yeah. yeah. 2D8 plus 1 for level 2. Jesus. And it needs five. to make a 16 DC spirit save. It's going to death. No, it's it felt. It just splashed. It looks like I got hit by a car. Like, like, like a saw a squirrel got hit by a semi. I just. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just covered in gore. 29 points of damage and it's blown back 10 feet. It's blown up. It don't have any points. <laughs> Yeah, how many hit points? Two. <laughs> oh, and for the for the second swing, uh, the rug is still there. Oh uh, yeah. Trying to do anything that it yeah, it's trying to crack, rip, like reach at you. I mean, it's walking around. I'm gonna come around after that swing and come right through the rug if I can. Okay. Uh, Kill it. points of smites. That is a hit. That is exactly what you need. Kill it. Kill it. Can I smite again? Yeah, you can smite the time you get a bite smite. Yeah. That's what makes paladins stuff. There's a lot of stuff in this place though. I'm not sure I waste on the rug. Be careful. Well, I'm sure. Well, 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 his character. Do this. Go ahead. Nine damage. Alright. And the rest of the movement, they both already attacked. And that one blew up, so. Put through the rogue attack. Uh, I believe it did. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It didn't. Uh uh. Um. Go ahead and move. <laughs> make, make it. That'd be a 21. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, does, does Rowan have his bag of holding, or is it still outside in the porch? I have all my stuff. Yeah, but you did you have the bag of holding on you because, you know, the fucking... You know what, he opened it up on the side and it came out. Okay, so what are you doing? What the hell I'm attacking this drink. Cool. Step it up on him. Yeah. Uh, 22. Are we hitting? Here we go. Bro, it's like, as if I go over there, everybody's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> Radiant smite. And I think the super green one. That's what we're talking about. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 damage on the first swing. Uh huh. Second swing. Swings hurt pretty bad. Uh, 15. Alright, that worked. Uh, I'll also I needed to make a DC 16 strength check. Oh, that was radiant. I'm oh, sorry. My bad. Uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. Thunders. It was radiant, not thunder. Uh, 10 more damage. Alright. It is dead. Uh, like I said, you hear shouts of alarm going around. It's common, it's in giant. You're Ogres, your ogres have yeah. scattered. Yeah, I'm just gonna show everything in my bag real quick. We'll go for it later. I'll throw them okay. in the sword. Hold up. All right. Rest, Vesper, go back. Okay. Okay, so uh, we're going in order here. All right. Got yeah. stuff. Yeah, there's stuff. Vesper, stuff. roll me a will save. Oh, fuck. You have advantage. You have plus however your dex is. Uh, my charisma. Yeah, charisma. That's four. Yeah, plus four for him. Don't suck, don't suck, don't suck, don't suck, don't suck. Can't look. Plus what? Plus four. Plus four? 16. So, 16. The DC is 17. Do you not get anything from uh, uh, you, you, well, you, 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 you go to move in, and uh, you see this small form in the fall as it approaches. Anybody here? Protect me. And this thing jumps, comes up behind a Roussier. Uh, what is her class? Is a 19? Right. Yeah. This is a 21. I like how you guys are all quiet. This is where Blade of a Thousand Cuts gets nasty. <laughs> okay. Wait. Is it controlling you to attack a Reese Blade? No. He said we're testing her not to attack us. So that but means it's if you attack us. her, I attack you. Yeah, 16 points of damage as you watch as a small elf, maybe 4'8, 4'9, four four she comes up. And she grabs her boost in it uh, by the mouth and bops her on the neck. Vampire. Vampire. Oh! 